Hi guys, for today's reading we're going to be looking into what is the gossip on you and by who. So we have three piles today. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to. And if you guys enjoy this reading, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp, a donation, hit that little super thanks button. All that stuff really helps me out and I truly appreciate each and every one of you who does anything to support my channel. Thank you so much for that. And let's get started with pile one. Pile one. What is the gossip on you and by who? Gemini. Sagittarius. Cancer. Imagination. <laughs> There could be somebody very two-faced in your vicinity. This could be somebody that you regard as a very close friend. That may be talking about you in a very negative way. There could also be some of your siblings talking about you as well. People in your family talking about you. People could be discussing some form of targeting that has been going on in some way. People may be talking about how much you stand out, how different you are, how unique you are. People could be talking about your intelligence, your ability to communicate. People could be talking about your loving nature, your caretaking abilities. People may also be talking about you being a little bit sensitive, getting hurt easily. People may be talking about certain topics or discussions that may ruffle your feathers in some way as well drama d r n q drone m n drum g q u u b h Y, P, PhD. Somebody could be talking about you going to school or going back to school in some way. P, G, M, P, military police, parental guidance, Q, Y, F, fuming. Somebody could be really upset too, while they're talking about you. There could be a lot of anger being thrown your way. Grumpy. People could be saying that you're angry in some way. Grub. People could be saying that when you're hungry, you get really angry. So there could be something like that too. Weird. Strange feelings and foreign thoughts. Aquarius. People could be talking about um, the love they feel for you or the love that you feel for someone else. How it might be something very new, very different from things in the past. People may be discussing you having some overthinking issues or there could be somebody overthinking about you as well. People are talking about your belief in the unseen, your imagination, your creativity, your out-of-the-box perspective, your non-judgmental outlook. People may be talking about you saying that you have a higher level of consciousness in some way than a lot of people. People may be talking about the way that you speak as well. what else we got same old story never makes the needed changes and always blames others for their problems martyr like qualities if you don't like being a doormat then set boundaries so people could be saying that you're a doormat for a lot of people um people could definitely be talking about how you're like everyone's caretaker everyone's mother 
in a way or how you tend to put so much time, effort, and energy into caring for others that you don't care for yourself. And then you blow up on people because you're upset that they don't do the same for you. Or that you don't have enough time to do the things for you that you need to do. They have no heart and they're cold as ice. They don't care about anyone or anything. They're sharp and cruel with their words and their actions. They don't have any friends and are sociopaths. They hurt others for sheer pleasure. You could just have good boundaries and you refuse to put up with people's crap. You probably speak the truth regardless of feelings involved. You might also spend a lot of time alone because others can't handle the truth. So a lot of this could be the way that you used to be and the way that you are now. You may have went from somebody who didn't put up any boundaries, somebody who put up with anything that people had to throw your direction and really um, took care of everyone but yourself at some point in time. And now you're doing a lot more of taking care of yourself, cutting people off when you need to, walking away from situations where people want to put the blame on you simply because you are not taking accountability for everybody's shit. You're only taking accountability for your own shit now. And there could be some people that are trying to say that you're just super cold, hearts in a freezer, sociopathic, whatever the case may be, that you might just enjoy hurting people and blah, 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 blah. And a lot of these people might be talking about this shit because you decided you're no longer going to put up with their shit and you're no longer going to stick around, stick around for the abuse they put you through or the lack of an equal give and take in situations. Your ideas are the best ones that I have heard and you give them away like it's nothing. You never mind sharing your perspectives and your stories. You're an amazing storyteller too. Once again, with the imagination and the creativity, people definitely feel like you are very good at painting a picture that everyone can see. When you speak a lot of times, it might actually bring up pictures in people's minds as well. Nothing causes them to hate themselves or doubt what they are doing. They've had to fight for everything, and it shows. They're amazing, and it's so inspirational. So it doesn't matter what you've been through or what you've had to face. You don't give up. You keep going, and you keep doing what you're doing. You don't let the doubt or the anxiety or the fear get in the way of what it is that you want to create in your life. You've had to fight for everything that you have, and people definitely see that. They're inspired by that. They may even want to follow in that path as well. We have the wolf. The wolf is somebody who leads by example. A good leader. Um, very loyal. Very strong. You're also somebody who is very in touch with your shadow side. You know what your shadow side is. You don't deny it. You accept it very fully. Shadow side could even have something to do with the thought of hurting those who abuse others. It may have taken you a very long time to accept this about yourself as well and to um, express how you're feeling in that instance or in those situations because you may be somebody who really strives very hard not to hurt others in any way. People are talking about your abilities to be able to manifest the way that you've been manifesting very quickly. Your quick action to be able to walk away from things that don't serve you. Um, your ability to be able to detach emotionally from things that you're emotionally connected to when you need to for your own highest good. People could also be talking about the studies that you have undertaken. The things that you have taken the time out to learn and build. The skills that you have, the knowledge that you have, the understanding of things that you have. And they could also be talking about your ability to think quickly and move quickly. People could also be saying you're bloodthirsty in some sort of way as well. Or that you're evil in some sort of way. But when you think about a wolf, yeah, people say that about wolves, think that about wolves. But wolves will take in pretty much any baby that isn't even theirs. And there's a lot of humans on this planet that would kill other species babies before taking them in. So, I mean, how evil are wolves, really? Ancestors, the love and legacy of our DNA. Winter, the sacredness of pausing. 
So, people may also be discussing the pause that you take before taking action to move away from things. The stillness that you bring into your life, the way that you um, go off by yourself and take some time for you. Get back to your own energy so that you can be making decisions that are more in alignment with who you are and what you want. <laughs> Black Horse by Katy, Katy Perry is also coming to mind as well. You may be somebody who believes in your ancestors. You may be somebody who prays to your ancestors. You may spend a lot of time in nature as well. People may be discussing how um, connected you are to those who came before and how you're very loyal to your beliefs and you're not going to let anybody tell you that you're evil for your beliefs. So that is pretty much what I got for this pile. And I really hope this resonated with you guys. If it did, remember to let me know in the comments below. And thank you to anyone who has been supporting this channel in whatever way you do. Whether it be liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, leaving timestamps, donations, hitting the little super thanks button. All that stuff is great ways to support this channel. Thank you guys so much for doing that. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two for you guys. What is the gossip on you and who is talking about you? So we have Libra, Gemini, intelligent, Taurus, trustworthy. <laughs> the Taurus trustworthy one always gets me because you know what? There was a Taurus at one point that was extremely untrustworthy that got a lot of trust. <laughs> this could definitely be um, somebody who is a best friend or was a best friend. Um, this could be somebody that might have been like adopted family of some kind for you. An ex as well could definitely be an ex for you. Somebody that you were extremely close to. Some of you may still be close to this person or these people. Um, there could be something about the law that people may be talking about in here, um, a ticket or somebody might be dealing with. There could be a telephone game going on in a way where people have taken what you have said and said it to other people in a very distorted way. By the time it gets back to you, it's going to be something completely different than what it actually is. There could definitely be a lot of people talking about your life in that way where people don't even know what's going on um, and the truth has been very distorted in some sort of way. Y, C, copycat, F, P, face, A, Paul, W, U, L, Y, E, pale, pale, pale horse, Q, I, the apocalypse, hmm. Y, Y, the other pale, like a pail of water, O, L, alloy, B, A, bale, bale money, S, say, say something is the song that's coming to mind right now. G, Z, U, M, Kamala, hell, lazy, laps, asp, boa, bailey, baileys and coffee. Some people could be talking about um, you drinking if you've been drinking lately. People may even be trying to say that you've been overdoing it even if you haven't been. There may be some people trying to convince people that you are a snake of some kind. Same love is the song coming to mind now too. She keeps me warm. Basilisk.
people may be saying that you're under the control of someone as well. Pa. Saw. Gaze. Glaze. Male. Like M-A-I-L and M-A-L-E. Sale. Both ways. People may be um, saying that you are a hustler as well, or a salesman in some way. And that what you, once you get what you want, you move away from situations. Or maybe you've dealt with a lot of that. And people may be talking about that as well. Queen. Quest. Quality. Sacrificial Lamb. And Leo. Somebody may be um, telling people that you sacrificed someone for some sort of abundance or prosperity to come into your life in some sort of way. What's funny is I feel like um, this may actually be someone that you tried to sacrifice everything you have to save in some sort of way. Save Me by Jelly Roll is coming to mind now too. People could be talking about how you are in the spotlight or how you prefer to be in the spotlight. People may also be talking about your leadership abilities and skills, qualities. Um, people could be talking about how fiery you are, how passionate you are about certain things in your life. Let's see what else we have here. A drug addict or alcoholic that is covering their feelings, pain, or secrets with substances. They need to heal, but you can't help those who don't want to heal themselves. So people could be talking about how you are an addict or an alcoholic, how you might be covering your feelings, how you might be burying your pain, how you might be trying to numb yourself. Um, people may be saying that you need to heal, but you can't help anyone that doesn't want to help themselves. So they may say, may say that you don't want to climb out of this darkness that you have been encompassed in. And for some of you, this could be about somebody that you've been dealing with as well. And for some of you, this may not even be true. These people just may want everybody looking at you so they're not looking at them. Because a lot of times, especially when you're dealing with addicts or alcoholics, a lot of times they want the spotlight on you so it isn't on them in some sort of bad way so people aren't looking at their bad qualities. They are uninspired, moody, ungrateful, disrespectful, uncaring, so selfish and hurtful. I know them personally, so trust me. I could tell you so many bad things about them. Hurt and jealous ex-friend or cut off family. Possibly even an ex, like I was saying before. Somebody's definitely feeling very hurt by the way that you cut them off, by the way that you've left them. Um, they may even be feeling like a sacrificial lamb in some sort of way. Um, they may be feeling very uninspired, very moody, very ungrateful, feeling like um, everything's your fault and trying to shift that blame over to you instead of accepting their own accountability for the things they've done and the reasons why you walked away. And they may be trying to tell people, oh, I know them, so I know everything about them. And trying to give them some sort of distorted view of you in some way. Overly sensitive and emotional causes drama and problems everywhere they go. Vicious and cutting and very selfish too. Constantly triggered. Some may be saying this, but it doesn't make it true. Make sure that you are not dropping down to their level. And remember, the one at peace at the end of the day is the one who wins. So, remember self-care at this time. Remember to love you and take care of you. Remember to be getting proper rest and eating right. Um, also, really taking care of what you're telling yourself as well. Because when you're telling yourself a different story than what they're trying to get you to believe, then when they're trying to say those things that they're saying that are not true about you, you're not going to be so defensive because you're just going to be like, yeah, uh-huh, sure. see what else you are so funny no one can escape laughing when you're around you are medicine for the soul everyone loves how light the mood gets when you are there i am always with you feel the love that i am sending your way you are not alone so you definitely have somebody on the other side that is wanting to let you know that they're still there with you that they are behind you all the way they're very proud of you as well and they want you to know that you're doing a good job. You're definitely somebody who brings a lot of light energy to a room. And people are discussing that. And discussing um, how fun the vibe tends to be when you're around. 
how lighthearted everything seems to be. Um, some people might get into a very serious mood, but when you drop in, it's like they're freed up to let that go. A harvest is just around the corner for you. You might not see it yet, but know that it's there. You have worked long and hard for this, and fertile soil always bears fruit. Have faith. So, people could also be talking about the harvest that you have coming in in the near future, something that you've been working on for a very long time, how you have been very dedicated, perseverant, how you've had a lot of willpower, a lot of determination to make things happen. You've had a lot of faith, a lot of trust, and a lot of belief in yourself and in the universe in making things happen and these things are getting ready to start happening in a very good way the beaver yeah you've definitely been working extremely hard and people are talking about that they're also talking about the fact that you haven't just been working for yourself you've been working for those that you love to create a safe space a comfortable place for you to be a solid stable strong foundation to rely on <laughs> Working all the live long day. Five of Pentacles. Temperance. People are definitely talking about how you were left out. How you were um, abandoned in some way. How you have really had no support. No one on your side. And still you've managed to do the things that you've managed to do. People may also be talking about how you've learned a lot as well. And how you have leveled up in your self-esteem area. You may have had a lot of issues with self-esteem, maybe a lot of trust issues, maybe a lot of um, feelings of being um, not valuable, not seeing your worth, not understanding who you are. You may have even had a really hard time letting anybody in or letting anybody close because of these things that have happened. There's a lot of change coming in for you, though. Um, your patience is paying off. Your perseverance is paying off. You're starting to make new intimate connections, ones that are a lot stronger and a lot more solid. People could also be talking about how you had to do this on your own, how you had to break away from codependency, how you had to break away from addictions, and you had to do a lot of it on your own. Ghost, Regret, Night Song, Hidden Talents. So both of these cards are also about a loved one trying to send you a message from the other side as well. Cardinals are very prominent on that front. Once again, I am always with you. Feel the love that I am sending your way because you are not alone. So people may also be talking about how you have went from feeling very alone to like you're never alone as well. There could definitely be somebody on the other side who regrets something they said to you or something they did to you or the way that things were between you when they passed over as well. And they want to get a message to you about how proud they are of you, of the fact that you have never given up and how you have really been able to keep your peace and your stability in the hardest of times, how you have been able to um, break free from any codependencies that you might have had and how you've been able to not make new ones. They're talking about you in the spiritual realm. They're also talking about your hidden talents, gifts, and abilities. Um, some people could actually be referring to the fact that you are able to speak to people on the other side as well. You're able to bring forth messages from people who have passed over. Very specific ones. So that people know for sure that that's where it's coming from. Callie. Carter, Eugenia, people could be talking about your singing as well for some of you, how your singing might bring peace. So that is what I have for this pile and I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it, whether or not it resonates, what you might be going through, things like that. And thank you to anyone who has been supporting this channel through um, liking, sharing, subscribing, uh, hitting the super thanks button, leaving donations, timestamps, things like that. Really appreciate you guys.
And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three. What is the gossip on you and by who? Sagittarius. Capricorn. Aquarius. Aries. Virgo. Um, could definitely have something to do with your in-laws, especially a mother-in-law, your father, possibly. Ex-friend. Ex-love interest. Um, Ex-friends with benefits. Siblings. Wow, there could be a lot of people talking about you in this pile. There could even be somebody who has hurt you in the past that is discussing you. Somebody that maybe targeted you. Somebody may have actually targeted you targeted you because of the lies of another person. You definitely have a lot of spiritual protection as well. People may be talking about how your speech brings a lot of inspiration, how intelligent you are. People may be overthinking things a lot because they're realizing that the lies that were told about you that they acted on in a very aggressive manner were exposed and now they're seeing that the person who was trying to make people believe these things about you was the one who was lying. The person who got everybody to gang up on you was the one who was lying. S D S D card. There could be an S D card that's important. An uncle's S D card. S L O slow. Slow and steady wins the race. G, glow. Ain't nobody gonna throw me off by glow. Glow by Moonlight Scorpio. K, B, slide, slick. E, sleek. I, hide and seek. There's a movie called Hide and Seek too. Um, somebody may actually be talking about somebody that has DID. Somebody could be connected to you who has DID. This could be the person that may be talking about you. XP, experience, six, six-sided, six-sided dice. PD, police department. N, Y, New York, uh, serial killer. <laughs> um, every time I see New York anymore, it reminds me of that because there was a hat with that at one point. J, M, Jim, Q, W. You know what? There could be crimes of people that are getting ready to be exposed. Crimes that you knew about that uh, maybe no one would believe you about or were there was really no proof to be able to mention anything or something along those lines. Wind. Windy. If you have a grandmother who passed, she definitely wants to let you know that she is there as well. And windy like the wind, and windy like the name. Bend. Flexible. White socks. Red. Fred. Jed. S Stop. Walk. There is definitely a lot of people talking about you. La la la, I can't hear you. You could definitely be ignoring a lot of that gossip. You may be not really paying attention to what's going on with these people. Um, people could be talking about how you are really enjoying something that's going on in your life right at this moment as well. You may be laughing more. You may be smiling more. Um, people may be talking about your mouth, the way that you say things, the way that you word things. Um, there may be somebody that's really attracted to you that could be talking about you as well. I don't blame you if you move on. I'm a mess. So somebody could also be talking about how they really don't blame you if you don't want to stick around throughout whatever they're going through because they are feeling like they're a mess and like, you know, who wants to put up with this? I don't even want to put up with myself right now. So why would anybody else want to put up with me? There could be somebody that is saying something like that. 
you might even be ignoring this person and just like, too bad, this is where I'm at. So this person has been a sugar baby to multiple sugar daddies. They can't stand on their own two feet and they choose to take advantage of those who are lonely and have money. This may be a true thing and this may not be a true thing. You know, so what if you decide that you want to accept money from somebody who wants to give you money? You're not taking advantage of somebody if you made a deal and an arrangement between each other. They could turn that around and say they're taking advantage of you because you're in a hard spot and you need the money. And so they're willing to give you money, but only if you give them sex. It could go to either way. Technically, either side of that could be seen as taking advantage. And really, in all actuality, people do that shit all the time. So who's to say that that's a wrong thing? You know, if it's helping both parties and everybody's doing all right with the situation and nobody is having any problems with it, who cares? But it could also be that there could be people saying this because they don't know what the fuck's going on in your life. They don't know where you're getting your money. They're making up stories for where it's coming from. Um, they may not even notice or appreciate the other things that you do for people besides sex. There could actually be people who sell themselves for money and so they just assume that that's what you're doing or they want people to see you that way because they have to do that and they may be upset that you don't have to do that and you get your money in a different way. They censor themselves too much. I wish they would just be honest and stop caring what other people think about it. Sometimes it's easier said than done, but know that you'll be much happier if you do. So people could definitely be talking about how you censor yourself, how you stop yourself from expressing the truth, how you um, have a hard time sometimes putting yourself out there and being authentic in some sort of way. Either that or you may just not be the same type of person as these people are and so they may think that you have something to say even when you don't. They are not a team player and they give up too easily. They don't have anyone around for a reason. They don't compromise and they are unfair. Sometimes it's hard to be on a team that is attacking you. Jealous people. So there could definitely be some people, like I said before, that are jealous of the way that you're living your life and the things that you're doing. Um, there could have been people on your own team that were attacking you. And if so, there's definitely people that are talking about that and see that, but there's other people that are trying to convince people that you were the one attacking the team, and that's why you don't have a team. Movie night with you is the best. There's always snacks, blankets, comfortable energy, plus you never mind if we crash afterwards. So people could also be talking about how much they enjoy staying at your place, um, how much they enjoy coming over and hanging out. People may really enjoy the fact that you always seem to have, you're a very good host or hostess. You have a lot of comfortable energy as well, and really you don't mind if people stay at your place. There could definitely be some people who have had nowhere to go at some point that have crashed on your couch or something like that, and they may be talking about you as well. They may be trying to combat some of the negative things that are being said about you. You handle loss, pain, and grief very well. Your stability and strength is amazing. You're a steady rock for everyone in your life. So there are definitely people talking about how you're a very steady, stable, solid person, how you have been there for a lot of people, and how you are able to keep your cool, your calm, and your peace, even in the midst of chaos, even when things are complicated, even when, say, you have a death in the family, you're the one who's going to be able to handle everything that's going on. Peacock. There could definitely be a, a lot of people who have confused who you are or who haven't really delved in deeply to see who you are because all they did was look at the surface. They looked at the cover of the book and made judgments before they even delved into it. But your beauty is something that lies far deeper than on the surface. And people are discussing that beauty that lies inside of you. And maybe even how some of you have been propositioned in ways because of the outer beauty that you have. Uh, do people wish, whisper about you on the train like me, saying that you shouldn't waste your pretty face like me? Some people may actually be saying that it's a waste that you aren't selling yourself if you aren't as well. Page of Cups, and they wish that they could have that themselves because they would definitely do it. 
actually dealt with someone like that. Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. People are talking about how you're able to love um, like you have never been hurt before. Like it's before the scars, the pain, and the hurt of this world. People may also be discussing how um, you or someone else may have apologized for judging the book by the cover before actually diving any deeper. And there may be a new opportunity in that situation if that's the case. People are also discussing, discussing the opportunities that you have in front of you. There may be some form of commitment that's coming your way. Um, there may be stability, trust, honesty in the connections that you have going on. You may actually be building a new team after an old team fell apart and people could be discussing the opportunities that you have in this situation. People may also be discussing how you have helped them to see inside themselves in some sort of way. Graveyard, unnecessary fear. Barnbrack, sweetness and synergy. So people may be talking about how you may be afraid of certain things coming to an end, but there's no reason to fear those things. And also, I feel for the majority of you, this is going to be about how, once again, you're very strong when it comes to things happening in your life. You're not necessarily afraid of being alone or afraid of losing those that you love, afraid of things coming to an end. And I feel like you um, help others to see that it's unnecessary fear to fear those circumstances or situations. To rest in peace. People really feel like you offer up a lot of sweetness. Once again, with the good host or hostess energy, you may um, you may make a lot of things homemade as well, especially when it comes to food for a lot of you. And people may be talking about your food and how much they love it. You may actually even do a lot of things where you put a lot of healing energy into your food. And once again, with the working together, you're very good at working together with people. There may be some people trying to convince people that you're the problem when it comes to working together with people, but people are starting to realize that the ones saying those things are the ones that have issues with being able to work together with people, being able to be honest, being able to be solid, being able to be consistent and stable. And so they're starting to realize that these people are projecting their own issues onto you and blaming you for the reason why things fell apart when in all actuality, the biggest reason things fell apart was because of the way that they were behaving in the situation that you were in. So that's pretty much what I have for you guys. And I would absolutely love to hear from you guys on whether or not this resonated, what you might be going through, things like that. And if you guys did enjoy this, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp or a donation. Could really use that at this time too. You can find my Cash App, PayPal, Amazon wish list in the description box below. Um, hit that little super thanks button. All those are ways that you can support this channel and my work. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And I hope you have a beautiful night or day. Whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.